Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for the likes, shares, and comments. It's greatly appreciated. We have a few noteworthy changes applied to the test server. There's a new Darko zombie. All I've managed to see so far is just the message of a strange zombie that has appeared. I've left a link to the angry Aussie who was able to record his experience with the new zombie and the very cool backpack the Darko zombie drops. Also, the new prototype enhancement is dropping off a sniper zombie. I found this one at the Crossgate coming into Pleasant Valley. I think you'll need three prototype drops before you can enhance a weapon. We'll now become a zombie if killed. This one with a backpack was me. I spawned back at the area, but the former me, which became a zombie, was gone. So there may be a time limit on how long your zombie self is in the world. You'll find some additional changes to the respawn UI as well, like a respawn radius block on PvP. There isn't one on PvE. Zombies will now attack you in and around your base if your base is unprotected with walls and gates. So those with shacks, you could be greeted by a zombie or zombies right at the stairs of your shack. They can also damage your base, but I don't know the extent of the damage. We're still testing it. Vehicles now have new sounds to include screeching of tires, new engine sounds, and the horn has made its debut. Vehicles will also take damage if you're using them for zombie and animal hunting. I discovered that after the ATV blew up, it actually left the parts on the ground to include any loot you had inside. That was interesting. We have a new right-click inventory command. You right-click on items now, and you will get a menu selection with some additional options. This seems to be the answer to the control drag single item I've been looking for. I've seen a post or two requesting a few tweaks to the new menu as people are inadvertently clicking on the wrong selection, so be mindful of what you are selecting. Also, you'll see your character drinking and eating. You'll be holding the bottle after you've finished. I think this is still bugged. You can clear it by logging out and logging back in. The running crate is dropping, and we have a series of new items that have been added to King of the Kill. You can stop by the H1Z1DB website, a comprehensive database of game-related items, interactive maps, and news to get all the details. You can also see all the latest updates to King of the Kill in a link by Adam Clegg. You can find it in the published section below. To get caught up on all the changes since launch, you can click on this annotation for a playlist going back to early access. You'll be able to see all the changes with the game and its related news. Aim block is now in the game. You'll get a distinct icon showing that something is in your line of sight. That was an amazing practical change. Pat on the back to the team member who came up with that. It's a lot darker in the game now. It reminds me of early release. It was pretty dark back then too. I'm finding that it adds a nice touch of immersion, although if you're around the dam area and you have that lighting, it's still pretty dark even with the overhead lights. That wraps up this look at the recent test server updates. I'm liking them thus far. Be sure to leave me a comment about what you discovered and what you think about the new changes. If you're new to my channel or a frequent visitor, consider subscribing so you can do that by clicking on this Watermark, as a subscriber, you'll get all the latest news and development from H1Z1.